storms also caused significant damage in Joliet. That's where CBS 2's Marissa Parr is live tonight. Marissa, we understand it was a close call for some people inside their homes when the bad weather hit. Right, just take a look at this. This is the front yard of one homeowner we spoke to, and the roots of the tree that almost took down her home are about as tall as I am. I think any time a tree this size comes down and you can see the entire root structure, it stops people in their tracks. Lisa Dorothy's Joliet house has become a bit of an attraction. The roots of the tree lay bare at the foot of her yard, its reach catching one of her windows as its casualty, the rest just narrowly missing her home. People are like, well, after, after two months in the house, this is pretty exciting. You know, and I'm like, I, I could use a little less excitement than this. She is one of many in the Joliet area, left cleaning up the mess of the storm on Memorial Day weekend. And then when the sirens went off, I went to the basement. The storm made a dramatic entrance. As I was sitting in the car, a tree two doors down, across the alley, come flying over in front of my car and landed on the hood. Trees tumbled, many of them taking power lines down with them. My neighbors were yelling, don't get out, don't get out, there's live wire underneath your car. Thousands in the Joliet area were left without power, causing chaos at intersections and concern over what this means in a pandemic. This is going to be stinking hot this week. <laughs> we're all working from home. If I don't have power, I can't work from home. Around the block, Carla Liberti scoops up leftover hail by the handful. Maybe I should put this in a cooler right now since we don't have power and refrigerate down all my food that's about to spoil. Hidden beneath leaves on the ground. There's a lot here. The hail still there hours after it pummeled her home. It looks like a cat scratch through every one of these screens, and the worst one is the highest one up. The battle wounds looked different on every block, but there was one thing everyone we spoke to could agree on. We were safe. No one was hurt. That's the important thing, right? We can fix this. Definitely not the Memorial Day weekend anyone around here was expecting, but the good news is I just got off the phone, or rather email, with someone from Joliet Police Department who tells me they haven't received and he hasn't heard of any injuries reported as a result of this storm. Dispatch tells me it's all hands on deck. Live from Joliet, Marissa Para, CBS 2 News. Jim? Marissa, thank you, and you say during a pandemic. And